Question number three, if you are constipated and stopped up, what can you do today to help out with those bowel movements? Well, let's go into my, re my recommendation. Number one, there are certain supplements that have been helpful to help soften your stools and allow you to go. One of them is magnesium. Magnesium over the counter is usually very safe, but you have to do this under the supervision of a doctor so we can check magnesium levels. It helps to make your stools softer, easier to go through, and easier to pass. This is one of the tricks that I recommend for a lot of my patients who are constipated. And on that, I would add fiber as well. And I have found taking fiber supplements as opposed to fibrous foods tends to be better when it comes to constipation. What you wanna look for is you wanna look for something called psyllium, P-S-Y-L-L-I-U-M. This is one of the fiber supplements you need to have as an over-the-counter supplement, sometimes with magnesium as well, to allow you to have good effective bowel habits. And for most of our patients, this works great, allows them to go, and they have good bowel habits with that. Sometimes you may need to add over-the-counter laxatives like Miralax, very, very safe to take. We have a lot of good clinical studies on the long-term use of Miralax. I know a lot of people are concerned about their bowels becoming more used to the Miralax or having issues with that, but, there are no long-term effects from taking long-term Miralax. Make sure obviously you speak to your doctor for that. Some people may need enemas on top of that. That's perfectly fine. This helps to start the process of your rectum to move things through. And it's very safe to do this long-term as long as you understand why you're having the constipation. But for some other people, this may not work, which is why we have very effective medical prescriptions to allow you to use to helpfully have you have more effective bowel habits and help out with some discomfort that can be with that as well. But stress plays a role when it comes to constipation. So sometimes dealing with stress, whether it's going for a walk, going for a run, exercising, this will help out with constipation. I just mentioned before, exercising allows you to help move your bowels, move things through, and allow you to help with whatever else you're trying as well. For some people, we actually need to retrain their bowels. So pelvic floor training is a very effective option for our patients who have what's called pelvic floor dysfunction, in which the rectum muscles are too tight. It, it actually works fantastic. And then lastly, for some individuals, we need surgery. Yes, yeah, surgery. Sometimes we need to fix that rectocil that's there, fix those hemorrhoids. Or for some individuals who have severe constipation, we, need, we may need to remove either part of their colon or their whole entire colon as well. And that sometimes is an option for a lot of our patients. But these are things that we use as doctors to helpfully help out when it comes to constipation.